Hello, today I will be talking about how to configure virtual port channel channels on a Nexus switch. So I have two Nexus 5010s, but this can be applied to any Nexus, whether it's real ones like the ones I have, or whether it's virtual ones, which I also have virtual uh, 7Ks. Down here you'll see the list of uh, requirements. They have to be in this the same domain number and a limit of one per switch and I'll go over that configuration. Uh, they have to be have a peer link between the two. They have to have a keep alive link and one or more virtual port channel member ports. Okay so the first thing I'm going to do is talk about the physical layout which is really easy. There has to be Two 10 gig links is recommended by Cisco minimum between the two switches. My 10 gig links are Ethernet um, 1 slash 17 and 1 slash 18. Okay, then you have to have a Keep Alive link. I'm using my management ports as the keep alive link and the management ports on my nexus switches connect into my management switch which is a 3750x so that's just an ethernet connection a cat6 cable nothing fancy okay so let's go with the configuration first thing i have to do is enable a couple of features well virtual port channel let's enable that feature and then the next one is LACP. So that'll help us configure the port channels when we get to that step. First thing I have to do after that is configure the VPC domain. VPC domain one. That's the number I'm giving it. You can give it any number as long as it's within range. And then within that just one simple command peer keep alive tell it where I want the keep alive link to be the keep alive link is just a heartbeat that's all it is 1.85 that's my other nexus which is uh, management IP address and it will use my management verf as the default verf later on I'll go into more details in another video on how to do you know granular tunes on this okay the next thing I'm going to do is configure my interfaces yeah 17 through 18 and then put these in a channel group or a port channel rather and I'll just make them active and then I'll go into that port channel and I will tell it I want it to be a switch port on the 5Ks on my 5Ks it was an optional step but on my virtual 7Ks I had to do that so the next step is just to tell it I want it to be a trunk after all I'm making a port channel port and then I tell it what I want the trunk to do. I want it just to be a peer link. The peer link are my two 10 gig links going between the two 5Ks. That's it. Configuration is done. All right, so let's look at this real quick. The two um, validation commands. Obviously, I don't have it configured on the other side, but. We can look at some stuff. So it shows I is individual. It's it's not you know linked to the other side. But I can do show VPC peer. And I can see a couple of things here. First it tells me the keep alive status is suspended, but we already knew that was gonna gonna be not successful. But it does say it's sending and where it's sending from. And of course it's not receiving anything and it, it's telling it the destination and a few other bits of information. All right, let's go to the other one. 
Okay, and the other switch, I will do the same thing. Enable the features. Simple stuff. Configure the VPC domain. Tell it what I want to do for keep alive. And then just configure the interfaces into a port channel. Configure that port channel. Tell it I want it to be a peer link. And that's it. Configuration is done. All right, let's look at the validation commands. Show port channel summary. This time I should be seeing uppercase P's. And in fact, I do. So you see the status right here. I got my uppercase P which P stands for, it's up in a port channel. All right, well, let's look at the peer link then. Whoops, VPC peer. Look at that, peer is alive. Some other bits of information, saying the six, um, send and receiver is successful. And then some other bits of information. Okay. I will be having the notes that I used in a link down in the description, which goes to my wiki page. Okay, I hope this video has been helpful to you. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.